You want to learn how to find yourself as a guitarist? Well, then you don't want to miss this. Pack your stuff. We're going to take a road trip and head deep into the California Palm Desert to rock out with one of my all-time favorite riff parties, Caius's Gardenia. It's time for another Dino's Deep Dive. If you're a guitarist and not familiar with Queens of the Stone Age, you should dive in ASAP. Heavy, weird, strange, dancey, and quirky, they're one of the coolest rock bands ever. Their guitarist was at the core of not one, but two amazing bands, both of which were pioneers of their unique sounds. Of course, I'm talking about Josh Almi. I started out with Caius, then checked out Queens of the Stone Age just because I was already a huge fan of his epic riffs and textures. You can learn all about the band's history from the link in the description. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. There's a lot to learn and we're going to have our epic riff counter going. So let's dive in. Tuned to C standard tuning, which is standard tuning down two whole steps. So E A D G B E goes down to C F A sharp D sharp G C. Unlike most heavy riff playing, he used the neck pickup of a very unique guitar, an Ovation Ultra GP Electric that came out briefly in 1984. He was very secretive about it in interviews. But you could see it when he played live. Now it's common knowledge. And here comes the verse. Off we go.
So let's talk about the solo. Instead of a shred fest, we get a super cool, unexpected space rock effects pedal jam. Tommy often talked about trying to find what his thing was. And instead of the usual wild solo or shred fest, we get these jabbing notes and tasty analog delay textures. I can just imagine him twisting pedal knobs here. This is clearly his thing for the solo. Okay, so let's finish this. Today we rocked out to one of the heaviest, epic, riff-filled classics of all time, Caius's Gardenia. We learned how many amazing riffs are packed into this one song. We explored the heavy desert rock roots of Josh Homme, which helped pave the way for his massive success in Queens. So many cool creative elements to learn from. Amazing riffs, great songwriting, unique detuned sound, heavy riffs with the neck pickup, awesome effects pedal textures taking us into outer space, willingness to take musical risks, and forging your own sound and style. I plan to review more Caius as well as Queens in the future. Happy exploration! Thanks for watching, I hope this helps you immensely. As you can see, I had so much fun making this video. Don't forget to subscribe and drop comments. Which are your favorite Caius and Queens riffs and songs? Remember to click the link in the description below to join our email list for bonus tips and course updates. Have an awesome creative day. 